lately we've seen a lot of mothers come into the store uh, looking for a way to get their families to unplug, uh, stop texting, get away from the computer, sitting in front of the television, and get their families back together. When we are around the table playing a game together, we really feel connected to one another. Um, we can just kind of let go and relax some and kind of tease each other a little bit without hurting anybody's feelings. We can have those social interactions that sometimes a family misses because we're so used to each other. And the game puts us in a very different world where suddenly we, we're fun for each other. People forget because they don't play them enough. Uh, and so when they do play them once every other year or so, they remember, oh, this is great. It's kind of like going bowling. You know, you forget how much fun it is until you actually go bowling and you say, I have to do this more often. That's, that's why you play games is to have fun, so why not have fun with your family? When you enter our store, uh, besides just all the great games that you see, we also have a community space, our game space, where people can come together, uh, play games, uh, participate in our special events. They can talk to our very knowledgeable staff. Each of the staff here at Paradise Games has some type of game that they are very passionate about. Uh, it might be board games, it might be a certain card game, it might be a miniature game, role-playing games. If you have a passion for something, you'll find a staff member to connect with. Games are social. It's not like social Facebook social. It's real social, where you have to be in front of someone and playing and present in the moment. Uh, it's a great community, it's a great place to come and meet a community, and it's a good place to come and participate in a community. Your board games are a very cost-effective entertainment. Uh, you buy a game, it might be a little expensive when you first buy it, but compare that to going to the movies, where a family of four, popcorn and everything is going to run you close to $100. So with a board game, it'll be half that for a great board game, and you get to play that over and over and over and over again. Click the link under the video to receive our weekly video tip series, What's in Your Game Closet? We'll be reviewing 24 of the top games in our store so you can consider which ones are the perfect addition to your family's social life.